UK and today in this video we are going to be doing a very fun challenge. I'm going to see what weird and fun things I can make with 100 plus Mojmo -mo squishies. And look how many we have, this is so cool. And before we get started with this video, I just wanted to thank MGA Entertainment for sponsoring this video and for sending us this huge collection of Mojmo -mo squishies. The Mojmo -mo that I'm going to be unboxing today are the Moj Moj Itty series. So these are the original squishy toys that now come in tiny itty size. And today I'm going to be unboxing these cool mystery packs that sell for $3.99. These are super cool and they have five adorable characters in them. There's 150 plus of the itty characters to collect and there's also to find the ultra rare big one. So guys, I put the links in the description to where you can buy these itties, but you can buy them at Smith's Entertainment Shop, Argus, and all the other good toy shops. But before I get started with this video, I just wanted to thank everyone who subscribed to my channel. I love you guys so much. If you haven't already, please smash that subscribe button to become part of my Rebrush UK squad and make sure you also stay tuned till the end of this video because I'll be giving two shout outs. So let's get started. So first I'm going to open about three packs on camera, then I'm going to do the 60 second challenge to see how many I can open in 60 seconds. And then after that I'm going to show you guys what weird and fun things we can make with these itties. So now I'm going to open the first one and can I just say that the background is actually my favourite colour which is like a teal slash blue colour. It says on the packaging, the original itty moj moj. So soft, so cute, so moj. Ooh, I see them. Oh, that's so cool, because they've got like a rubber band on the outside and then the moj moj like, oh, it might be like all the different ones you can get. Oh, I see that one, that's so cute. So let's look at this first. So there's some moj moj stickers, which I will be sticking on myself. So the pocket sized, the Lee Pettits, Small fries, mini mini, magic beans, the wee ones, party pips, tiny tines, and smarty pints. And then you can also get the big one, which is a diamond. The diamond one counts as ultra rare, and the stars count as rare. So the big kuana is the special one, and it's the big one, which you really want to get. But we have to open it. <gasps> I think I got a rare one because I see there's a glittery one. They all come in their cute little beds, I guess I call them. This kind of looks like a sheep because it has a cool thing and I like the feeling of it. And then we have this really cute, it's like a bunny but it's like glittery one and I think the glittery ones are rare. And then it's like a sheep again, it looks like a sheep because it's got the thing but it's blue. Oh, we got matches. We got two of the same ones. And then finally, it looks like, it looks like a penguin like swimming in the water. I got three party pips and the blue one and the two white ones. And then the glittery one, that one was a mini mini. And the last one, this is a tiny time. So these are the first ones I've got. They're so rainbow and I love the color of them. And they're so cute. I love these two especially. Look how cute they are. I'm in love with these two. And I think I'm gonna name them. So this one I'm gonna call Sparkle because it is Sparkle basically. <laughs> and I think these are hedgehogs and I'm gonna call them Bella and Ella. I'm gonna call this one Bluebell because I think that's a really cute name for it because of the colour. This one, I feel like I should do like a really funny name. Zuzu. I'm calling this one Zuzu, I've always loved that name. Not only these are super cute, you can fit them in your pocket and they're so small and so tiny and super squishy, look at that. And I thought these would be like sticky, like they'd stick to your hands, like slime kind of. But they're not at all, they're, they don't stick to you at all. But they do, which is so cool, stick together. Let's try these two. If you put them on each other, they just stick together. I okay, love that. Also, when you squish them all together, they just come together as one. Well. It's really cool. And they literally stretch so much without breaking. Look how stretchy that is. It literally looks like slime when you stretch it. <laughs> so that's my first pack open, and I love these so much. And now I'm going to do the 60 second challenge. So we've set the timer to one minute and let's go. Three, two, one. Oh, look at that packaging, it's different. Just a second. I found one I really like. I think I finished this one, I guess. So I've just unboxed 20 Moj Moj, which is four packs, and I'm gonna tell you my favorite ones and what club they're from. So here they all are, and literally all of them are my favorite, but I had to pick two of my favorites, these two. And 
also this one. And this is really cute because it's tiny. Also, these two are like the same, but one of them's clear, which is the blue one. They're literally like cousins. And I think that's supposed to be a seal, but I just think there's a blob, which I really like. <laughs> so this one is a mini mini. And the pink one is a tiny tie. This one is an ultra rare one, which is actually my favorite too, which is really cool. And this one was a rare one. And I love this one too, it's so cute. So there is a lot more in this box. So I'm gonna do it all on time-lapse so I can show you what you can do with them and make with them. So roll the time-lapse. the big kahuna it's giant i thought it would be like that big and it's absolutely massive you can't even fit this over it oh i love the color of this oh, i love it so much look how cute these are and look at the comparison that i'm in love with this one literally look at his ears i feel like that's the best part because they're like so stretchy. I'm gonna open the rest and I'll come back to you when they're all done. Okay, so I finished opening all these Motory Squishies and there's so many, there's over 170 here, which just shows how many you can collect, which is a lot. And my four favorites are this, like, I think it's a tiger and its faces are so cute, that's why I love it so much. This glittery bunny. I like this one a lot as well. I think it's like a squirrel. And then finally, oh my gosh, I'm in love with this one. It's a tall turtle and it has this little cute shell. So cute. One of my favourites were actually an ultra rare and it was this one, the glittery one. I really wanted to keep my stickers so I could use them for something. So I put them in this really nice jar and this is also like an extra DIY you can do. I stuck a few stickers on the top, some of my favourites. So now that we've opened them all, let's show you some fun and quick squishy DIYs. So to start the DIYs, I'm going to sort all of these Moj Moj's into colours. Which then brings us on to DIY number one. So the first DIY is squishy jars. Look how lovely they look guys in a line together. And I did it in colour order from darkest to lightest, which I think also looks really good. And then your big squishy you can just put on top. Look how colourful these are and they literally look like sweets from close up. Another really good deal why you can do with these is you can customise your squishy jars with your squishies. Take double sided sticky tape, stick it on the top, like so. And then you'll take out one of the same colours or you can do a different colour if you want. I'm doing the same colour so you know which one it is. And then you stick your squishy on and it looks really cute. So there's my first customised squishy jar and I really love this hedgehog, like that's why I picked it. So I finally finished this first DIY and I'm definitely going to be putting these on my shelf. I absolutely love this. They're so easy to just get out of the jar and play with. On to the next DIY which is a squishy pencil case. are two different wallets we got them from any news agent and then also we need some double-sided tape and i'm using a5 wallets but you can use them smaller or bigger depending on how many squishies you want in there what you need to do first is you need to grab one of your wallets and we are using this one and you just have to put your squishies in line into your wallet but i'm gonna line mine up in rainbow order i'm gonna start with pink these are really easy to get out to you just put your finger in So right now I'm just putting it all in a line and it's looking actually quite good, I'm proud of myself. It doesn't have to be perfect. So I finally finished, it didn't actually take that long, but it was really fun. So now I'm gonna show you from the top the colors that I've used. So this is the final front of the pencil case, I'll show you how to put it on in a minute, but I used six colors all together and I love it so much. The squishies look so nice together. Finally, the last part of making your pencil case is really easy. You take your other wallet and you put double-sided tape on both sides. And if you don't have double-sided tape, you can also use Velcro strips. They're really easy too. So now, all you do is you just take it carefully and you stick it on straight. And then you squish it down so all the air goes out. And you've made your own squishy pencil case. On to squishy DIY number three. is 
with notepads. So there's so many ways you can do this with notepads, which I really love about it, but I'm showing you a few ways that you could do. If you only have one squishy or you just want it to be a bit plain, then you can just add one cute squishy onto your notepad. And I really like this one because I feel like it just gives it a little push with a little unicorn on it as well. And this is a really nice thing because you can just get it out of class and it's so cute, you can just take it off and squish it. And the good thing about the sticky tape is when you take it off, it doesn't damage the squishies at all. So another good idea is if you get the notepads with like the front bit, because people get the clear front bit. So what I've done here is I put some lines down and then I put them in the color order of what it were. And then you can just squish them from the outside or you could just take them off. And I put one on the front to make it cute. And when you close them, will protect the squishy so they don't fall out and i've also got another one but this time it's a bigger version of that just i put it on the other side and i think this looks cool because you can just see like the colors and it's really cool i like that i think that's really cool and arty but we also have this one which i really like it says ideas on it that i put the sticky back tape on the three colors i'm now going to put the squishies for the colors on there this literally looks like the same thing because it's literally the exact same colour. You can collect these and stick them on when you have them too, like, they're really cool. You can, like, make your way up to having them full life. And here's my finished notepad. I really like it. And I really like this one especially because the colours are matching. So on to my last one, which is Squishy School Stationery. We've already got stationery here, but this is like little bits. <laughs> so the final one is stationery, as I said. And these squishies are really grippy and they have good grip to things. So we thought that if you put them to rulers, pencils and highlighters, then they'd really grip well. So we used double-sided tape and then we stuck them on. And I feel like these are really cool and they're really easy to make too. I especially love the ruler. But some even have holes in which you can put them on top of pencils, which I really like. So in school, this is a really fun hack to play squishies and have stationery. So that's the end of my video. I hope you enjoyed my fun DIY squishy video. And I hope I've inspired you to make things with these Moj Moj Itty Squishies. Remember, the link where you can buy the mystery pack squishies will be in the description box. I have two shout outs to this video. The first shout out goes to Maisie Barrett. You're my shout out because you always come on my videos. You're really sweet and you make me smile. Thank you so much. Second shout out goes to Kenya's World. You're my shout out because you also always come on my videos. You hashtag Vibrous UK Squad and you're really, really sweet. Thank you so much. We can't end this video without thanking our notifications squad and early squad. We love you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed my Moj Moj Itty DIY video. They're so Moj. And remember, you can also catch Moj Moj on Pop Jam, where you can keep up with Moj Moj news and take part in some super cool initiatives. So go follow Moj Moj on Pop Jam. Thank you so much for watching. I love you. Bye.